Tori and Trajan, how, how much have they improved throughout the year for you? I think both of them have uh, improved on a steady pace, kind of like we planned. Uh, I think both of them are doing exactly what we want uh, up front. Uh, you know, one's probably a little bit ahead of the other one, but at the same time, I think they're both about the same. I think Trajan's made a few more steps than uh, Jatorian, but I think, you know, we're pleased with their progress and uh, hopefully they'll continue to do that through the rest of this season. How did you guys kind of weigh, I mean, I know they both played a lot kind of on special teams at the beginning, uh, you know, weigh the, the value of getting them out on the field even if it wasn't on defense? Well, I think it's, it's really, really important that they get some game experience regardless of what it is, if it's special teams or if it's playing uh, snaps on defense. But just getting the flow of the game, getting to understand what college football is all about, and I think that's the biggest thing for us was to get those guys out there and let them adapt to uh, basically a, a new phase of their life. Jatorian said the hardest thing for him this year was learning to wake up at 5 a.m. every day. So did you have to give him an alarm clock? Yeah, every now and then we get him a little uh, reminder. We get him a little reminder to make sure he's on time and do the things he needs to do. But yeah, I mean, you think about it coming from high school, all those things are adjustments for him. So um, that was probably a big adjustment for him. For Kuhn, the guys have been raving about Jordan Elliott really since he got here. I mean, that Arkansas game, Beckner said that was as good of a game he's ever seen a D-tackle have. Just how, how long was that coming for him? Oh, it's been coming. It's It's been a long time coming. We talked about it a couple times. Uh, we visited about that game and some other games and compared uh, effort and attitude and, and ability and things like that, that that he should show week in and week out. And I think now that he realizes it, uh, you know, it's a, it's a rude awakening for him, but now he understands that that's the way he can play all the time. Around us, Daniel has a limited what it's possible for him next season. Are you kind of keeping tabs on him? Oh, yeah, always. Uh, you know, you, you're always trying to uh, find another guy. So if Daniel comes back over, it'd be great. We won't have any issues with that. Uh, the more, the merrier. What do you think it says about you guys as a coaching staff that you guys are able to keep your, your seniors, no one's skipping bowl games, get ready for the draft. Everybody seems to be bought in on uh, this game. I think it's awesome. Uh, the culture that uh, Coach Odom has built around this program has been phenomenal. And uh, for those guys, I mean, it's a pride thing. They want to play uh, in the bowl game. I mean, they work to get to this bowl game. They deserve to play in it. And I think that's the way they look at it. I think that's the way the culture's built around here. And, uh, you know, my hat's off to those guys because it's really, really important that they go finish their last game. This is their last college game. Go finish it. A couple more for Coach. Different spots. Does he have a spot in mind in the future, or you like him at both outside and in? Well, I think right now he's he's got a spot outside, but there's no reason why for us to think that he won't be able to help us some inside. Um, with the growth of the two young guys, if they continue to keep coming, then now we can use him as a third down rush guy inside and then put the other guys out on the edge. So I think he's going to be a versatile player for us and give us an opportunity to do all that. How much growth did he show during the year at that point where he's making a lot of plays here at the end now? You know, I think he's really uh, improved daily uh, in the things that we've done or weekly and uh, studying and actually coming to work prepared to do the things that he needs to do to make himself a better player. I've uh, been really pleased with him and his leadership and the way he's kind of stepped up and said, hey, you know, I want to be that guy.